Hello everyone. Welcome to the second part of the Vesidial Visual Configuration series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new carrier trunk to your system. You'll need this to make outbound calls using the soft phone we registered in the previous video. Let's get started. To better understand what we're going to do and why we need a trunk, know that for your VoIP system to make outbound calls, whether nationally or internationally, you need a trunk provider. It's time to configure a carrier in our Vesidial. To configure a carrier, select Admin, then Carriers. You'll see that these five carriers are already configured by default in Vesidial. These are just examples. I've also created a carrier based on our configuration here. To create a new carrier, click on Add a new carrier, then enter the carrier ID, name, description, and select the user group you've already created. In the registration string, you need to enter register shash username dot password i domain dot port. In account entry, add the following configuration from our notes here. This is an asterisk configuration, by the way. And in our dial plan entry, add the following configuration as well. Don't forget to add this to the global string. Our protocol should be set to SIP since this is a SIP trunk. Then set your trunk to active and submit. So the trunk is now configured in Vesidial, but how do we know if this trunk is registered? The first thing to know is that you need to wait about a minute for this configuration to apply to your Vesidial. Vesidial works with scripts in the cron job, which means they run every minute. This configuration will be updated in your system about a minute after being submitted. Now let's see how to check if our trunk is registered. If you're using a Mac or Linux, you can simply go to the terminal and access the system. If you're using Windows, you can use a tool like PuTTY or Linux WSL, which you can use to SSH into your server. Use this command to see the status of your SIP trunk. Asterisk RX SIP show peer username, cheer grep status. That's how we register a trunk in Vesidial. In the next video, we'll learn how to create campaigns and use what we've done in this video and the previous one. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorial videos. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. The largest stock of VoIP with dozens of brands. With us, you will find what matches your budget and needs. And most importantly, everything comes with a warranty on the equipment and installation.